How cool is this? Welcome to the second part of my Droid Decker build to get it up to this stage. Let's go. Okay guys, before we get started, you don't want to miss any of this build, make sure you hit the subscribe button and while you're down there, hit the like button as well. That'd be much appreciated. And if you have any comments to make, whether they be good or bad, telling me I'm doing it the wrong way or I'm doing a good job, uh, just leave the comments down below. I read every single one of them. Um, and yeah, be good to hear from you. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the lower body part of the, of the droid. This one here. So all I've done is just clamped it together just to get a dry run of it before I glue it together. So I'll pull it all apart now. So we're going to glue it in two halves. So this half and then the other half. So I'm going to put in the, um, the doubt. That just went everywhere. I sort of have a habit of dropping everything. So I'll just chuck the dowels in and then we'll do a dry fit to make sure it's all lined up. Just so got to make sure I don't have any damn dog hair that's everywhere. <laughs> If we were to turn this dog here, we've got a couple of dogs in the house, so love them to death, but they um bloody put hair everywhere. See how that lines up perfectly. Cool, so that lines up okay, it's nice and flattened together. So we'll get into gluing that. So these have got to be glued to it together fairly well because it's um are holding a fair bit of weight on them. Okay. That will chuck it together. Chuck the old clamps on. While you're spraying, um, give a bit of pressure onto the to the joint so it closes it as much as possible. So the sprays will get into the little cracks in between the joints here. There's not much of a crack, but it's a very fine spray. So <clears throat> now on the side here, you've also got these little things. They're meant to be to line it up. going like that. Cool. Lined up. So that one's good. There's not much to it though. It's just um, for those that are sort of like, oh it's a huge project, just think of it of a whole bundle of little parts you're printing and um, then you just glue them all together. So you'll see that this one had a problem and I had to join it. So it's not a big problem, but it will um, it just require a little bit of sanding. It's not, not a lot of sanding, so it's cool. I'm going to get the right. There's that hole. Damn it. I had it the right way too. I had to move it. Don't glue them around the wrong way, guys, because <laughs> they can look the right way. Just make sure you, uh, the 
like what I was doing is these channels have to line up in the middle here. So I'm just making sure I have the channels lined up. Because these are these take a while to print these bits. You don't want to be having to reprint them because you glued them the wrong way. Because this glue, there ain't no taking it apart. <laughs> You'll break the model before you break the glue. I've tried it before, trust me. <laughs> so just make sure you get it right to start with. Hence the reason I dry, glue, I dry fit everything first and make sure everything's fitting properly before I go and apply the glue. Yep, another good fit. So I'm just making sure the seams all close up properly. Which they do, which is good. So pull them apart, glue them up. But it's like um, a big model from a hobby store that you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get. So a model this big from a hobby store, you'd be looking at hundreds of dollars, if not thousands to get a model of this size from a hobby store that you put together. But this way you're just printing it yourself, so cool. Okay, all glued together. Get the spray out. perfectly so when the bottom goes on you've got um, four holes in this joiner so you'll be able to line up there's two on this and two on the other so it sort of holds it together as well when it goes on and there's a little ring up the top here it's got this butterfingers same thing four holes four holes and you'll be joining it up like so to the other one I reckon these will be able to come off. We'll get the other one off first. Check she's dry. I should be dry now. Which it is. Didn't take long, eh? Real flat. It should come off now, too. So that's all off. Make sure the channel in the middle of them goes together. And they should be like so. Don't put the wrong parts together, like I just tried to do. <coughs> As you can see, you need lots of these little um, these little dowels to go in. So I've printed off about 60 of them so far. I don't think we're going to have enough. I don't know. But they really help lining stuff off, especially the bigger stuff. Little stuff, yeah, you, not really, but. You only need a couple like I did with the legs. I only put a couple in the legs. Give yourself a fair bit of room to do all this stuff in too. I mean, I'm a bit squished here, but I've done heaps of these big models. But the more room you've got, because the easier it's going to be, you won't have to squish parts up everywhere. And I mean, I'm in my son's bedroom, which he's not using at the moment, so, so I don't have anywhere else to do it. I'd love to have a big studio to be able to do this sort of stuff in, but <laughs> I'm only a little guy, not making any money out of my channel, so. And this, of course, would be where you make sure those fit, and you make sure these are going to fit in the side. Oh, that side one don't matter so much because we've already joined them. It's just the top one that's going to matter. What I will do is put four on this, like so. All right, pull it apart and get the glue out. And you can see how quickly this, this glue dries, yeah? It's a bit quicker than, um, than your super glue. Mainly, I guess, because it's got the accelerator on. Now one thing you're going to have to be careful, this is going to have a pipe going through it, this middle channel. You don't want glue coming over the edge and clogging that up a bit because it's going to be a pain to sort of try and clear out if it's um, 
if it's in there it's going to be closed up don't forget doesn't matter with these holes so much there's nothing going in it and it's going to be enclosed so you won't even see inside here problem in that channel that's all cool now I'll just piece them together and then put my clamps on making sure it holds that bit in place before I start to spray it with glue not gonna fit they're not going to worry, it's going to be that part there. Okay. Let's turn it over. Get this little sucker in here. Oh, wrong one. Help with the right stuff. I'm not going to glue this yet, I'll just wait till I've... Oh, I just want to make sure that I can get it in. Cool. In place. Now let's start some spraying while holding it as close to together as I can get it. On this side. Okay. That's done. These can probably come off now. Yeah. It's, it's instant. It dries straight away, so it's really good. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's the lower part. All finished. Now it's got another four pieces that goes on top. So we're doing the same thing for that. Now the other two of the head, or the body, is those two and these two. So I'll be doing exactly the same thing with them. Although too big to put clamps on. So I'll have to just hold them for a tick while I spray it. Let's do the big bit first. Okay. doesn't matter if the glue goes on the inside you want to keep it as much away from the outside as you can because you don't want to be sanding all the glue off it'll be a pain in the butt for this one I'm going to spray it now so the minute it gets on it's going to um, when it makes contact with the glue it's going to set cool So there's another side of the body, so they, that will fit onto the one we've just put together as well. This one go together. Okay, so I need some more dowels, but that will go together like so. And then it will fit on oh, here like so. And it go on there, and there's your top half. 
Okay. We gotta print off some more dowels. Okay, so just like magic, 30 more up here. <laughs> Doesn't take long to print them off. So I've just got a little file that I saved on them and I just zip it off to the printer. It takes I don't know, an hour or so to print them. and the legs will come in the side here and the side here and the same on the other two sides that would be cool <coughs> I'm just checking that it was okay to glue this together because there's all bits and pieces that go on this one so looks like upper body all goes to get the same way yep okay <coughs> so this will go in there glue in place and this has another ring so stupid I've glued both of them the wrong way just to show you <laughs> I put them together the wrong way and had to pull them apart so this is how strong the glue is yeah it's pulled the plastic off as opposed to breaking the glue and the way I got them apart basically they were together there was a tiny bit of an opening on one side I put this in and I got a hammer which whacked it free and I had to do it that way it's the only way I could get them apart as you can see the um, the joins got split by the by this but this has had it because there's no there's nothing to stick to and there's too much of it gone with this one I can probably use again because I managed to get all the um, bits out it's still relatively flat and I've got a few bits here that I'll just fill with glue these bits I, I figured out the glue is going to cost less than reprinting the whole lot so I'll do that, I'll reprint, I won't reprint. reprint this, I've had to reprint this half. So where I had it like so, because it looked like it fit, it's actually got to go, so 
So these two bits, these two pointy bits, which doesn't look like it's meant to go, but that's the way it's got to go, like so. So I'll glue that together like that. And then I've still got all this surface here to, to stick properly. And like I said, I'll fill these with glue. And we'll um, salvage this part because this part is printed good, nice and strong. So that's the problem with doing the strong stuff. There's a lot of filament in it. So I don't know. It's probably about, I reckon, $10, $15 worth of filament in this. So I just don't want to chuck that in the bin if I don't have to. So I think I can salvage it. Good, it'll go together okay yeah might need a little bit of sanding in places but it'll be okay don't be me learn from me <laughs> so i'll show you all the mistakes as i go um hopefully there won't be any more but there's bound to be i always make mistakes and stuff them up and have to fix them up but that's the nature of um being me <laughs> make sure that you read the instructions <laughs> so i just before i glued i double checked the instructions and the instructions are really good and they have exactly pictures of which way it's meant to go because um, I gather it's been done before. Okay, so I'll glue that together. Same way as I did the others, I'll just put the pegs in. Just glue. Okay, so I have thoroughly read this section of the instructions. And re I had to reprint both <laughs> one, one piece of each side because I stuffed up both sides <laughs> when I was doing it. Um, as you can see but like I said I can re, re, um, recover them so I put the pegs in I've done a little dry fit it all fits together fine um, probably a little bit too well because I could nearly I nearly couldn't get them <laughs> once I dry fitted them never mind that. but you can see how well this glue works yeah because it's actually <laughs> I had a hell of a job getting them apart, um, and when I did pull them apart, it pulled pulled the plastic apart as opposed to the um, the glue pulling apart. The parts I did get places, it still got the glue on it, um, and it ripped part of the um, the other side off. Lesson learned for lesson learned. <laughs> so this one goes in like so. Now the other thing that needs to be done is you printed this little ring. So that goes in there, give it a bit of strength and hold all the four bits together. So I want to get it whack it in. It's got to be flat. Which it is. Cool, so that holds the, them all together down there. And then you're gonna have poles and stuff coming in holding the rest. So that's got a few little <laughs> a few little dribbles that have to go on here. Oh, what I've done is I've put all the pegs in for the um, I think they call them greebles that need to go on, they're just the little bits and pieces. Really important that all these match up or these aren't gonna fit. So into the little test so this one here goes across the top and it also holds so it's giving it strength as well as adding to the look and putting on the little bits that need to be there oh, like that okay we got this one here goes on the front there Yeah, so the good thing about it is they go across the joins. So they, yeah, they're holding them in place. Not that you need them with this glue. But... Okay. And they're 
there's one on the back, just here. Get around this one. So he goes round a bit up. Just making it really solid. So that's um, all they say to do with that. I guess I'm following along <laughs> with the instructions after all my last um, disaster. Oh, so I'll put them on. Okay. Okay, this is got little. Ah, okay. All right, these little bits here. Go on the side here, like so. Oh. Coming together. Also a little Okay, they're not, sometimes you just have to look at the picture, decide on what's it. So this is, um, this bit here, I'm gathering. If it's not it, then um, I'll be printing another bit, but it's not a very big bit, so it doesn't matter. It's in. Okay, this bit here. Okay, on. That way. So when you put this on, just make sure the bumpy bit's up the top. Because it's um, not much good being down the bottom hidden. Oh. Okay, now comes the fun part. I've got to put the two pieces together. For the big glue, I might use this. So it's the same thing. Zapper gap, though this is more liquid, so it's going to spread easier. That other stuff was about a medium thickness. So, oh, what I've got here is this. see what I need to line up okay now we have these pegs in here as well now these bits will go in here at each one of the um, openings here and they'll lock it in place once I get it on oh yeah it'll just go on like so okay so basically the side round bits will go there just so you don't get it around the wrong way guys you've got two pins here and two pins there 
but you don't have the two pins on the back bit okay so it goes so the two the two openings for the pins so there's two pin holes here and there's two pin holes here because this bit goes on and holds them together and clamps them together okay so it has to go on the right way let me just oh, I need a rest. sorry does my back is killing me it lasts about 15 minutes and I need a break which is why you probably see me all the time in different shirts and stuff <laughs> because I've had to have a break from my back sometimes I just can't go on for the rest of the day and I just need to stop for the day so um, don't don't be stingy on your glue on this bit because this has got to be glued really well according to the instructions but you want to keep it away from that you don't want it dripping down the side so the glue needs to be sort of thickish on the inside and sort of lighten it out as you go towards the outer edge inside here doesn't matter too much I don't care if it drips on the inside here just want to make sure that it's nice and touching everything this glue that smells exactly the same as the other glue so it's probably the same stuff just be aware that if you've sprayed that spray around it's going to dry the glue straight away on the model so just make sure you you haven't sprayed that spray recently oh, learn from me don't do this to your finger because it'll dry on your finger and you'll be peeling off a layer of skin <laughs> with the glue going to before yourself to it just need to apply a little bit of force so basically all I did is I lifted it and dropped it down the top of itself now, okay so you need to put the two side bits in make sure they clamp in place so use your um, dowels to make sure it gets in place then do the same thing with this one okay that's in that's in that's in that's in okay so you've got the two two bits at the side to put on this one bit at the front and then you go ahead and put these in on either side of where the legs go in so once you've got all the little all these bits inside on each each side of where the legs go in then you've got to make some more bits up to decorate the front here so I've already sort of half done one here so I just got to figure out which one's which that's on this side that's going to have to be there put on there okay so what I'm going to do is put them in place first so I know which way they're going to go and they're in there. Pretty on there. 
Okay, so it's got to go this way. So they only show you for one direction, so I'm just making sure I've got it right for the other direction. So because it's got a mirror it, so I'm doing a little bit different to what they've got in the um, in the instructions. It's a pain in the butt doing it the way they've asked you to do it. So what I'm going to do, so they they want you to put all the way through, and I don't want to have to drill it, so I'm just going to do it this way. Where I put through, I put in the um, the dowels into one of them, but it doesn't quite fit into the other one. Instead of, instead of getting um, a drill and drill on it, I'm just going to do it this way. So it goes that way, so it's going to go this way. Line them up, push them in. Give it a spray. Hopefully it's the right way around because it ain't coming undone. Yep. So basically, one goes on there. Don't have to get that bit of glue off. If it dries too hard. Do it now. And with this glue, if you get it before it really sets hard, it's a lot easier just to scrape off the sides if it went over a bit. So that'll go in there. This will go here. This one will come in through that way. I'm going to do the same thing, just going to cut off the dowels. If you want to do it properly, just drill out the um, drill out the holes so they fit in nicely. But I just want it to, I just want these as a little guide so then I know exactly how to line it up on the holes because it's not paint this isn't taking any weight it's just all this is doing is is just don't look good type thing so it's just um just sitting there to um display itself really And that will glue on there. I might just glue that on, I'm not going to bother. The other way. Because it was a pain with this other one. Trying to get trying to get it on, so I've decided I'm not gonna do it what, what it wants you to do. Just gonna line them up. So they just work in there on each side. I've got one more thing to put on. So one thing that's really good to you guys is a rubber mallet. That way you can whack things without putting the damn thing all the way through. It might leave a little black mark, but that's easy to scrape off. Okay, so this bit here, this bit here, and this bit here. So they go together, so that goes on top of that. Doesn't matter, because it's all going to be spray grey, so I don't really care too much about the colour. And this is, once again, this is just a, a thing for looks. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So if you use one finger, you just have one finger covered in glue. <laughs> and the rest will be okay. And make sure you don't stick yourself to it. it goes here. Okay, it got, it's got dowels to hold this in place too, so I might put them in. Because these are small dowels, these aren't the long ones. Done! Cool. Oh. oh! Now we've got to make sure... I'll just measure up says that the um, leg aluminium can only be between 65 and 85 mil out. Cool, so mine are all okay. So this bit faces up. So the bits with all the things in face up. So the legs will go in this way. Oh, there's the other go down there, okay. So basically, the legs are going here and they've got little holes here and the ones that go all the way through the top here. I don't know if you can see it there. See there? So on here they've got holes there. 
and they've got holes inside inside the top here. I don't know if you can see So the hole just up the top. Hole just up the top inside there. I don't know if you can see where I've got my finger. Well that will line up with a hole in the leg. And you'll be putting a peg through there I gather. Let's have a look if this goes in. Oh! Look at that! One leg in. I'll put the other two on and then we'll see how that looks. It's only the bottom half. Oh my god. It's on a um, queen bed. And the legs go from one side of the queen bed to the other. So it's as wide as a queen size bed. <laughs> and how high is it? Oh, let's measure how high it is, shall we? Anything like this? Holy shit. It's um it's just under a metre high. <laughs> And I haven't even put the biggest part on. Holy shit. It's going to be big. Anyway, so this is the leg part with the, with the main base of the body. And then we'll have the big um, overhang bit with the arms coming out and the guns on it. Holy cow. It's going to be the size of a queen size bed as far as the um, floor area it takes up. I don't know where I'm going to put it. My wife's going to kill me. Okay, um, Oh dear God. But isn't it gonna be epic? I don't have paint the damn thing. So. Now with the body arm, um, I did stuff up a tiny bit. What I should have done is um instead of spraying the um one side when I put the two two halves of the body together, um, I should have just glued one side got it in place because it's, I sprayed it when one of the pins actually came out and fell over and got caught so I couldn't push the two bits together I had to get it out and it started to set so I had to then whack it with a hammer <laughs> try, and, try and get it into place um, but I managed to get it into place eventually but there was a tiny little gap around the um, around the base you can just see the little gap there I'm gonna have to so it's not dead flat which is what I really wanted, so I didn't have to spack it. But um, it won't take much spack, but then it all fits together, so it would, okay. Um, but holy cow. So I'm just gonna sit on the bed here. Oh, I can't wait after that, I can't actually lie on a bed. I can't even sleep on a bed. So this is me sitting on the bed. Next to one of the legs. And look at this, <laughs> it's huge. Okay, well, <laughs> so, now, <laughs> so the next one's going to be um, putting together the, um, the roof part. That might be a few pieces um, because there's a lot of bits that have to go together for that. This is the easy bit. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. And if you did enjoy it, uh, please give us a like and subscribe to not miss the rest of the build. Um, hopefully next week I'll have one out. I do have a end of 3 v3 plus coming probably tomorrow so i will be doing an unboxing of that as well so okay guys thank you bye okay guys thanks for watching i really do appreciate your support you might like one of these or one of these videos um that i've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye